Hello, I'm Lulu from the last episode, and this is my mother, the author of Math and Magic in Wonderland. And welcome back to our book club and math club. Um, we are on chapter two, and Lulu, why do you have a witch's hat on? Because it's we're going a... to demonstrate the magic square. The magic square. So Lulu and Elizabeth found this strange pattern on a turtle's back, and they figured out that it was a magic square. To solve a magic square, you have to put the numbers from one to nine um, in these cells. And what's magic about it is all the rows, which go across, and all the columns, which go up and down, and even the diagonals all add up to some magic number called the magic constant. Constant means it doesn't change. And to figure out the magic constant, Lulu um, reasoned that she has to add up all the numbers from one to nine, because those are the numbers that go in these cells, and divide them by how many rows? To divide them by how many rows? Three. By three. So each of the rows um, equals the same value. So to add up the numbers from one to nine, you you can just do one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus well, seven we plus eight plus nine. Well, we can add them way. That's right. So math mathematicians are always looking for patterns. And here's a pattern that Linnea found. I mean, mm -hmm. Linnea found. <laughs> So, each one of the lines I drew on the board equals 10. Because 1 plus 9 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. 3 plus 6, I mean 3 plus 7 is 10. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. And five is all alone. He doesn't have a partner. Okay, he? so then, and look at all these tens. So I drew four tens. And, and ten plus ten plus ten plus ten would equal forty. And then don't forget the little five at the end. Mm -hmm. And we have one extra five. We'll just include that guy also so he doesn't feel left out. So it would be 45. 45. So all the numbers from 1 to 9, all the natural numbers, the counting numbers, add up to 45. I'm going to wave my wand and, and see if I can find out the magic constant. Okay, so that would be 45 divided by 3. So wave your wand and let's see if we can find the magic constant. Okay, abracadabra! And you know what? You don't need a magic wand or a witch's hat to see magical things in the world. The world's full of magic, even in math. So we yeah. found the magic constant, and that's 15. So for you to solve the magic square, I'm gonna leave that up to you, who's watching at home. Um, you have to figure out um, which missing number will make the column or the row or the diagonal add up to 15. So for example here, you'd figure out 9 plus 5 plus what equals 15. And then you'd work on from there. So see if you can figure that out. And I think you have a song for us. Turtle um, 15 salmon, turtle's back, yo ho ho, and a big bowl of yum. Well, you know what? That's a pirate song from Treasure Island. So you better put on your pirate's patch. And a turtle's back is actually called a carapace. Yo ho ho. Fifteen? Fifteen salmon. Turtle's back. Yo ho ho. And a big bull of yum. How about a carapace? Fifteen sum on a turtle's carapace. Yo ho ho. And a big bull of yum. We'll send us off to a magical place. Yo ho ho. And a big bull of yum. And I want to tell you one more story. 
is you probably thought you were pretty clever to figure out the sum of the numbers from 1 to 9, and you were. But do you know there was another little boy who grew up to be a famous mathematician who figured out this trick? So when Gauss was a little boy, his teacher wanted to punish the class. And she said, I want all of you to sit at your desks and add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. And she reasoned that it would take them probably all day to figure it out and they might even make some mistakes. So Gauss, even when he was a little boy, was already thinking like a mathematician. So he found the pattern that Lulu figured out where the first and last number and the second and middle number all add up to the same value. So he did the calculation, he got the correct answer, and boy was his teacher surprised. So sometimes we call this method of adding up consecutive numbers, numbers that are all in a row, we call it Gauss's trick. So we learned something new today. Bye for today. Okay, see you next time.